first time watching me, hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Gia, I'm a working mom who posts all types of videos that encourage and motivate and inspire. We do that for each other. I would love for you to click the subscribe button as well as the bell next to it to become a part of my YouTube family. And for those already subscribed, welcome back. All right guys, so I typically don't do gift guides or anything like that on my channel, but I thought I would post one for my kids this year because I am strategically kind of planning what kind of gifts to get them or what kind of toys I want them to have. In the past, what we used to do is we'd go to Walmart or Target and we'd take different pictures of things that they would want Santa to get them and then we would text it to Santa. Um, and then, so what I would do with that information is, spoiler alert if you have any kids watching, is we would text the pic different, different pictures to like, you know, my parents or my in-laws or my sister or the people who buy them gifts and say like, you know, they don't have to get them this, but this is kind of the things that they like. And so what ended up happening was like, you know, I just felt all the clutter from last year. Cause we literally sent like all these different pictures and they got all these stuff and toys and I'm, I feel really blessed for that and we're thankful for that. But it ended up just turning into clutter within a couple of months. My toy room just looked horrendous and I did a whole toy room clean out um, uh, where we got rid of so many toys. We donated so many toys to clean it up um, and it looked so much better afterwards, but I don't want to go through that again. I don't want to buy them toys that I know will just end up being cluttered within a couple of weeks. So I discovered the concept of open-ended toys. Open-ended toys are basically just toys that can be played with, with in more than one way. Whereas closed-ended toys are toys that are just can be played with one certain way. So an example of an open-ended toy is a doctor's kit or a play kitchen. Like you could play with that in so many different ways and forms like a child can just continue to play with it and it fosters you know creativity imaginative play and that kind of thing whereas a closed-ended toy an example of a closed-ended toy would be like um a video game there's only one way to play i mean you just play it you know visually that's that's one w example of a closed-ended toy and so what i like about open-ended to toys is that like i said it fosters creativity and right now at the age that my girls are in which are five almost six and three, I really, really, really want to foster the creative part of their brain to really let creativity set in. And it's really important that that part of their brain is stimulated. So I've come up with a very small list of some open-ended toys that I think would be great for girls or boys um, my kid's age. So the first is butterfly wings. Now, these are so cute. And uh, what happened was a couple of months ago, we went to a birthday party and a little girl, it was outside and they were all playing and a little girl had these butterfly wings on and the kids loved it. I mean, everybody wanted to turn with these butterfly wings and they're cheap. The kids could just play for hours, like playing dress up or just playing with these wings. I, I know my girls are going to love them because they love them at the party. So that's number one. And they're pretty much inexpensive. And to be honest with you, I might get myself an adult pair because I just think it's really cool. I just think it's so cute. So I might, you know, dress up with them too. <laughs> but yeah, that's on Amazon. I'll leave a link for that down below. The second is a balance beam. Now my parents got the girls a balance beam and it stays at their house for them to like play on it's, it's super low to the ground so I was thinking about getting one for our house I know Ikea has a really nice one you can get some one off of Amazon I think the one that my parents have was, is like 50 or 60 bucks and it's good because right now the girls are in gymnastics and they absolutely love it and I think it's um great physical play they could play with their dolls on it and all that kind of stuff and i like the one of my parents because it just collapses and you can put it away i don't think you could do that with the one from ikea but i'm still going back and forth not sure which one to get them for that the third is a mini trampoline again some physical um exercise they could just jump and play with that get some of their um, energy out before the end of the day and it doesn't take up a lot of space that's another thing I don't want anything to take up too much space and I know it can fit in their playroom nicely because some of the things in their playroom now that that Ava's older I'm ready to transition like they have a little like play indoor play house indoor outdoor playhouse in there. I think I'm gonna take that down to have more room for, for physical activity like the uh, mini trampoline and the balance beam. Again, I haven't quite decided yet, but I think that would be an excellent gift, again, to just get that physical energy out. The fourth is magnetiles. Now, 
these are pretty expensive and I might just, you know, have ask for um, people to just buy a little bit so that we can group them all together and it'll be a, a group a big bunch of them. But these are great for just building. I mean, if you don't want to spend so much on magnet tiles, you can always just do Legos or Mega Blocks or anything like that um, and let them build what they want to build you know instead of following the directions of some of the legos like i bought last year i bought zara some lego friends the, the girls are like four girls lego friends and i bought her some of those to build together and what i found myself doing was i was building it and i was taking joy in building it where she was kind of like bored because i had to read the directions and stuff so i wanted something where i know she can just creatively build whatever she wants to build and magnetiled is great with that it's it, they they connect together through i think magnets and um it's really pretty visually to look at so i think both of them would really enjoy that and the last thing that on my list is kinetic sand now i bought some kinetic sand to do some sensory bins at home um, and I'll insert a clip here and the girls loved it. And what I love about it is there's no cleanup. I mean, it's, it's not like there's sand everywhere. It's kinetic. So it like, I don't know, it stays together somehow, but you can mold it and shape it to whatever you want it to be. Awesome creative play, um, to do with them. And then they incorporate their little dolls in there or little seashells or whatever they want to do, um, to incorporate it in their, um, sensory bins. I definitely want to do more sensory bins with them because they love it. And it's a great activity for like after work when I get home and I need them to do, keep themselves busy or as I'm cooking dinner, those sensory bins are amazing. And especially if you can find some that, you know, are easy cleanup, don't make too much of a mess. It's it's really, really great. Now I did buy them a few like traditional toys or things that I know that they would like. I talked about that in my Costco toy haul toy price comparison video. You could tap this eye right here if you'd like to see that. But I did buy them a few traditional toys and we do plan on taking them to Cabbage Patch Land. Now Cabbage Patch Land here is here in Georgia. I think it's in Cleveland, Georgia, which is a ways from us, but we're gonna make a day trip out of it. And we are going to adopt uh, cabbage patches from there. I think the girls are gonna love it. I think that's gonna be a great experience for them. So we do plan on doing that. And then that's it. I mean, I, I, I don't wanna do like too much for Christmas this year. I just really wanna focus on like giving. And, and, and now that Zara's a little bit older, her really understanding what it means to give and just um, spend family quality time together. That's, that's, the highest thing on my priority list for this holiday season. So leave a comment down below and let me know, what are you gonna buy your children? I know everybody has different age children, but what are you, some of the things that you're gonna splurge or buy your children um, for this year, or even if it's not things you wanna buy, or what are some of the experiences that you wanna do with your children um, this year? I would love to know, leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, you can tap my picture up above. And if you haven't seen my previous video, you can tap it right over here. And all my social media platforms, I'll listed down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!